The EPFL Mobile Communications Laboratory understands how most people in the world today are attached to their phones. Not literally, just can't ever put them down. So they decided to create a drone that would help rescuers search for victims of natural disasters by locating their phones. According to the Mobile Communication Laboratory, when Wi-Fi mode is activated, the devices emit data packets at regular intervals so that it's possible to know various parameters, including the power received by the antenna connection. This can vary depending on the surrounding terrain, the weather or interference. It is also weaker as the layer of rubble over a person is thicker, another important factor. With the drone, it is the GPS points of the captured signals from several places that locate the phone, thus helping rescuers find the locations of victims. Rubble, 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 the rocks. BAE Systems has unveiled its Striker 2 Helmet Mounted Display, or HMD, a fully digital solution that provides today's combat pilot with exceptional night vision and target tracking technology. Integrated within a visor projected system, the Striker 2 delivers breakthrough abilities for night combat with its high performance digital night vision camera inside the helmet. The helmet reduces G-force effects on the pilot's head and neck to improve comfort and eliminates the need to manually configure and adjust night vision goggle or NVG hardware for day to night transitions. With its binocular visor projector display performance, the new system integrates a center-mounted ISIET-11 sensor based on Innovac Photonics patented advanced imaging sensor technology, known as the Electron Bombarded Active Pixel Sensor, or EBAT. This advanced sensor strengthens the display's night vision acuity, bringing the system's night vision performance to a level equal to or better than HMDs using current NVGs. An autonomous unmanned vessel designed to track quiet diesel electric submarines spanning miles of ocean depths for months at a time with minimum human input is now under construction and is expected to set sail for testing in 2015. Lidos, a national security health and engineering solutions company, has begun construction on ACTIV, or Autonomous Continuous Trail Unmanned Vessel, under a DARPA program for the design, development, and construction of a vessel originally conceived for an anti-submarine warfare mission. ACTIV carries other sensors and mission packages designed to allow it to conduct a variety of intelligence, surveillance, and recon and other alternate missions. With situational sensors that can ensure safe navigation, the active Trimeron has electro-optics, long-range, and short-range radar. And finally, Jaguar is jumping on the smart car bandwagon with its Land Rover Smart Assistant, designed to learn the behaviors of drivers by taking care of non-driving tasks that could otherwise absorb their attention, such as texting. Yes, put the phone down. The smart assistant identifies the driver of the car based on a smartphone or similar device and learns his or her driving style and in-vehicle habits. The information that is collected is run through an algorithm and combined with background information like calendar, traffic, conditions, and current weather to predict behavior and handle a variety of non-essential tasks. Why you need to look at a calendar while you're driving? I don't know. The smart assistant can also make certain driving changes based on what it's learned from a driving style. Well, that's all for this week. For more wireless news, go to wirelessdesignmag.com. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. And if you like video, you should check us out on YouTube. So go subscribe to our channel. For WDD, I'm Megan Zimba, and I will see you next time in the hot spot. Nailed it.